guys, Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Going to give you a little modal lesson today, getting a little fancy. Uh, anyway, we're going to be talking about the Dorian mode a little bit. And I've also got a jam track that's just another YouTube video uh, that I've got a link for right here, and you can check that out. So you can practice all this stuff. Uh, and I've got, you know, theory lessons and mode lessons, tons of them, actually, at GuitarJams.com. So I've got a link for that as well. But let's zoom in and uh, talk about some of these concepts. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to talk about one of those modes in this lesson. We're going to talk about the Dorian mode, which is uh, mostly a kind of a minor sounding scale. Uh, it's great for rock. It's kind of the, also the Santana scale a lot of the time. Like in Oye Como Va, that's like a perfect example of the Dorian scale. Um, uh, also, I have a link for a jam track that, that's perfect for the Dorian and this key and everything. So I've got a link down there, and you can check out that, that jam track. It's just another YouTube video. Um, and the jam is in A. <laughs> rock kind of kind of a jam so you're always going to be able to play that classic minor pentatonic scale or that blues scale you know but a little more exotic sound could be thinking of it as this uh, Dorian scale now the a Dorian scale is all the same notes and the same key the same chords everything as the G major scale Okay, so let's just look at the G major scale for a second, because I'm telling you it's the exact same thing as A Dorian. Thus the term mode, it's a different function of the same thing. So here's the G major scale, and it's also the shape that we're going to use right now for this A Dorian uh, kind of lesson. So the G major scale starts on a G note with the middle finger, and we go three, five. Then we've got two, three, five on the A string. Then we've got two, four, five on the D string. Same thing on the G string, two, four, five. Then you've got two notes only on the B string, which would be three, five. Then you have two, three, five. And listen to it, you can hear that major scale sound. very bluesy sounding, right? Or even doesn't sound minor either, does it? No. Well, each note of that major scale is also the root to a chord in that key. So G major scale is the key of G major. The G note is the root of a G major chord. The second note is the root of an A minor chord. The third note is a minor chord. The fourth is a major. The fifth is a major or dominant. The sixth is minor. And then the seven is a kind of jazzy chord that's not used a lot, back to G major. And so those chords make up the key of G major. Now, here's where it becomes a mode. We take all that same stuff chords of it but instead of hearing that G note or G chord as home base or where we our ear hears it ending we hear that but if we change our ear now and think of the second note as home base and that would be an A minor chord 
our ear gets used to that sound, we play that same scale. The only difference now is what feels like home and what we're thinking of as our home bass or our root note. Instead of G, we're just taking that second note. So now we're playing the second mode of G major. And if you play it from A to A and try and hear an A minor chord, I did was change what we're using as the tonal center or, or ground zero. Okay, so watch now if I just kind of uh, play a little A blues or you know A rock blues like the jam track. Now watch. I'm going to start right there because it's the root. down here, but that feels like home bass, okay? And so how I usually use those, and most rock guys, would be to really still use a lot of that minor pentatonic idea, you know, blues scale idea, or sounds, and then just put pepper in those other options to, you know, add a more sophisticated sound. So you can actually play the A minor blues scale here with the root here. Five, three, five. So five, three, five, four, three, five, two, five, two, five, three, five, three. That's the A minor pentatonic scale below our favorite position. out the same scale. Same thing. So if you can visualize that for your track. that other scale. thought for you. One last thing, and this is a good way to, to kind of memorize scales and get your hands used to them so you can eventually improvise melodies and things. Um, we'll start with our pinky on that root, just so we emphasize again what's going on here where we've got this root note. Okay, A minor, A Dorian we're calling this right now, but it's all the same notes as G major. So we're going to go like this. Just going to go three up the scale, you know, which would be... And we're just going to go one, two, three... And then 
four. One, two, three, four. And since we started with that root note, then we're going to go four up from that one. Then we're going to go four up from that one, and you start to hear a sequence. So four up from here. Then it goes back, so four up from here. Put them together. See that? Then four from here. You hear those three together. And I would recommend practicing them in groups of four and get like the first three groups. can keep going up. And you can pick your own sequences out. You can do groups of three, you can do groups of two. There's all kinds of different combinations, but those little sequences really kind of get your hand around the scale. Plus, I've got tons of lessons on this at the site as well, like I said. But anyway, that's some food for thought for you. Hadn't done one of those in a while. So thanks for paying attention and hanging out. All right, there it was. Hope you got something from it. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, remember, I've got that jam track. There's a link for it down there as well. Uh, and the site and all that. I appreciate the support very much, and I uh, hope to see you guys again real soon. See you later.